What is this? I go deeper inside and come to a huge door. Inside it, there's a gigantic room. As before, there's highly advanced looking machines lying in the room. And in the middle of the room... Oh, he reached here awfully fast. Still, how did you find this laboratory? I didn't think that hatch was so easy to locate. Didn't you lure me here? With that gothic Lolita girl? I see. So what was Black Alice's doing? Yep. You're going to be screaming your mind out about Black Alice eventually, I imagine. <laughs> because she just, she's sabotaging your own plans. You're working together and she's sabotaging her own plans. It's like, why? Why do you do this to us? <laughs> Protestant eyebrows uh, lift in surprise. It seems like it wasn't a trap she laid for me. More importantly, where's Alice? What'd you do to her? <laughs> you two sure are interesting. So anxious about each other, you miss each other in your fury. Don't you take notice of another intruder beside yourself? Seems like some hateful person. Clearly getting revenge for the horrible experiments you're performing here. You're too daft to pick up on the clues, aren't you? Anyway, the other intruder should be here shortly. Look, just across from the other hallway. Coming here? It's true, I heard the sounds of violence getting closer. Across the room, a loud explosion sounds out from the door. Stepping through the dust, the other intruder enters the room. Here you are, promise time! I'll make you undo the seal on me! A smaller version of Alice steps into the room. Stunned, I only gape at her. Uh, Alice? Right? Does Alice have a child I didn't know about? Of course it's me, you idiot! There's no time to explain, but it ain't idiot could tell it's me! I see, Alice. You're safe. Thank goodness. She's safe. I'm so relieved. I'm happy she's safe, but... Just what happened to make her like that? Alice. We can't do it anymore. It wouldn't be legal. <laughs> Could it be that because of that seal she shrank? I see. That could indeed nullify the Six Ancestors' Great Seal if applied quickly enough. How'd you come up with that method so quickly? Huh, that nasty fox taught me quite a lot. Though I never thought I'd seriously have to use that magic. Hmm. You can't bring forth even a tenth of your power in that body. With the Hero Spirit List, your power has a... With the hero spiritless, your power is merely a fraction of what it once was. It's not even necessary to call next stall or Le Crux here. I alone am more than enough. Gah! Not only does she have the power of angels, but she's also able to use those manufactured spirits. Just how can the weakened Alice and I beat her? This is a perfect opportunity. I want to try this by in actual combat. It's a special gene I implanted in my own body. Frostine's clothes start to expand and spread open. It looks like her body itself is bubbling underneath it. Can't be. She experimented on her own body? Not just her fellow angels, but even on herself. What is this? How's the aura of monster magic flowing from your body? Hero, you saw the mixture of angel and monster already, didn't you? My own body is the final product of those experiments. Prostein's coat rips open as she transforms body bursts uh, it open. I might need to cover that. Anyway. 
strange plant-like organs come off of her body, making her look just like a terrifying amalgam of plant monsters. What? what the? S seaweed? This is ancient monster seaweed, an extinct life form close to the origin of all monsters. You plebeians may not understand what it means, but I have revived an extinct life form. After experimenting on thousands of monsters, I chose this monster seaweed to be part of my very body. I don't care about any of that! Don't be proud about being part seaweed, you fool! Ah, Promestine. We finally get to evaluate her since we're fighting her. Yes, I totally smash. She hits every check mark I have. <laughs> so I totally smash Promestine. There's no question about it. <laughs> I love everything about her. Especially that mad scientist nature of hers. Alright. Thunder Thrust! <coughs> and Alice's attacks? Aw, Alice is helping. How cute. <laughs> Alice's attack hit her? Thought monsters couldn't damage angels. I knew it. With your present body, my attacks seem to be able to land. Which, this logic also applies well with, uh, with Paradox. Because in Paradox, anyone can hit angels. And the reason is because of all the mixture of holy and dark mana in the air. As the angels breathe in that, uh, that mana, they get dark energy in them, which is enough for, for anyone to be able to hit them. If you're present by my attacks seem to be able to land. Burying yourself with the body of a monster and creating your own weak point. It looks like your gray experiment was a huge failure. <laughs> you think so? Why do you think I chose an ancient primitive seaweed gene instead of a powerful monster's? Raw physical power was not a factor. You should look deeper into the roots of why. Professor Seaweed, huh? Well, whatever. First of all, we'll just beat you into your unable to stand. Yep. <laughs> just straight into the sexual attacks. My licking technique will finish you quickly. Ow! Uh, I think we have to beat her down quickly to get access to Serene Mind, so Death Sword Chaos Star. This tank will lead you to pathetic finish. Ow. Not in a good spot. We're not going to survive a drawn out battle, so I think we have to deal damage. I think he summoned Serene Mind on his own, so another Death Sword Chaos Star. She's strong! <laughs> now for the finishing blow. Become the prey of this ancient seaweed. There we go. Innumerable seaweed like tentacles race towards Luca's body. But like water flowing around an obstacle, Luca evades it. Eh? Free from obstructing thoughts, I evade all the attacking tentacles. Even without him dying, I had entered a serene state of mind. Can't be. All oh, the spirits are sealed. 
true, I can't use the power of the spirits themselves. I still have all the experiments from when we did fight together. Even without and dying, I remember the sensation. Calming in my heart, clearing my mind of unnecessary thoughts. Alright. All we have to do is keep a serene mind up and heal ourselves. Blade of still water. Nice. How can you move like that? Even after I sealed your spirits! You should be as good as powerless now! Tenderness. The good evades it. I didn't I notice it before. If I calm my thoughts like I did before, I can still feel the flow of the world. It's true that with Undyne inside me, I could always feel the flow. But if I calm my heart and mind, I can still reach on my own! Foolishness! It makes no sense! What's going on? My serene state of mind. I never lost it to begin with. And it's always there. I just had to, I was just too preoccupied to notice. What are you talking about? Quit babbling! <laughs> Bound by only what you understand, you're a horrible opponent. His AR ways will always confound any calculations you've made. Alright. Come, Zilf! Oh, so summons the Spirit of Wind. <laughs> How about this? You should know most of all the fear that the spirits can cause. Summon Spirit drastically increases Promstein's speed, but her bloodthirst is still pouring out of her, making her movements easy to read. She's about to perform a powerful move. Guard. First, I'll take away your freedom. Now I'll take my time to deal with you. What the? How can you react faster than me when I have the Spirit of Wind? Promstein, are you able to hear the voice of the wind? What are you babbling about? The wind has no voice. Promstein, if how much magic exists in this world, and that gods and spirits actually exist, you're being a terrible scientist when it becomes, comes to the spirits themselves. Like... The voice of the wind and and the flow of the world are things you obviously should have discovered in your studies. Then you'll never manage to use the spirit. The voice of the wind is telling me it wants to rage around more. <laughs> Quit with the nonsense. She's only using them as tools, not really listening to them. If it's like that, she'll never be able to really draw out their power. Alright, her power wind fades, that's good. Uh, the primary thing is making sure that Dine is up at all times. We also, well, even if we lose her for one turn, she shouldn't be able to kill us, so meditation. Suck out your energy. Attack. I'll drink it all down. Now come on, finish! Alright, then we have nothing to worry about now. I don't mind a little in my mouth. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. The evasion's not 100% guaranteed, so we have to keep it up. Now suck out your energy. Come, Zilf! 
I'm saying some is the spirit of wind. All right, guard. This time I deal with you. you nimbly dodges. Our right, wind fades. All right, one more. We should be good. Now, all right, serene state fades. We got to get that back up. Serene mind. Now suck out your energy. Fades it. Meditation. Mind to blow my mouth. Attack. Enjoy the sensation of this tentacle. Come, self! This again. Guard. Power wind fades. Tank will lead you to a pathetic finish. Getting her closer. Finish. Let's see. Shall we just sword chaos star? I think that should be enough. Yep. There we go. I lost. Impossible. This can't be. Ronstein loses the will to fight. Ronstein was defeated. We're earned 200,000 EXP. It's now level 66. This is impossible. You should be powerless! Shock, Ronstein seems to have completely lost the will to fight. Looks like you're having trouble, Professor Seaweed. Before you take the finishing blow, I'll have you remove this seal. Six Ancestors' great seal on my real body. Real body? Her real body is still sealed? Then what's with this tiny Alice here? <laughs> I can't undo the seal. Once the technique has been started, not even I can stop it. What'd you say? The six answers great seal's power to maintain itself is taken from the very person it's sealing. Once it's in place, nobody from the outside world can break it. It's only released once the magic power maintaining it is lost. In other words, once the one being sealed is dead. What? I'm stuck in this form? No, there's no need for that. Because you will die here. Which, by the way, Tamamo figures out how to unseal Alice. Does that mean Tamamo's smarter than promised on canonically? <laughs> it barely takes Tamamo a fortnight to figure it out, too. Granted, she had the help of all the foxes, but <laughs> still. <laughs> she went from knowing absolutely nothing to having a, a way to break the seal, which even promised I didn't know, in less than two days. I still hold my trump card. Ronson whips out a syringe. Filled with a strange liquid and pierces her own neck with it. 
It's shameful for a researcher to use an ion that hasn't been properly tested first. But I'll be able to get over it once I destroy you here. What? What's that medicine? I can sense that, uh, what's Alice? I can sense what's making Alice feel so easy about that. I can sense what's making Alice so. Un I can sense what's making Alice feel so uneasy about that liquid. It's almost uh, pulsing with a sort of evil aura. Chills run down my spine just from the sight of it. The thing is far from normal. I can't return to my original body anymore with this. But if it's to destroy you both here... Oh, so I moves to inject the ominous liquid into her neck. And the next moment, a magical formation appears at our feet. What? What's this? Ronstein's body goes completely rigid. With her thumb on the plunger of the syringe, she was stopped before the liquid in went inside. <laughs> Don't do that. You shouldn't use that injection yet. The mysterious girl from before appears in the room. She looks so innocent. I can't shake this blood-chilling sensation. She's giving off that same evil aura as the medicine and promised syringe. Black Alice. Don't interfere. Black Alice? That's right. I've heard that name before. A strange person who is recruiting monsters and building up a force. Gosselius doesn't wish for your brain to be broken yet. It'd be quite troubling if you use the unfinished white rabbit in desperation. Please cool your head off for a bit. Gah. Damn you, fox girl. The magic seal on Promestine's feet flashes and she vanishes. After teleporting her away somewhere, Black Alice turns towards us. Fox girl is so uncute. I prefer rabbit girl. I agree that nothing about fo a fox is cute, but... Who the hell are you? Why do you assume the name of the 8th Monster Lord Black Alice? Your parents too. You're even trying to look just like her! What do you have to gain by mimicking that ancient Monster Lord? <laughs> I don't... I didn't take anyone's name. I am Alfie the 8th. Even if the figure can be faked, the magic power can't. If you desire, I can give you a more direct proof of my power. Ugh. The ominous feeling of pressure spreads throughout the room, almost crushing me. Unlike the heavy ambition of Granberio's presence, Black Alice's is completely different. Sensations I get from her is one of blinding fear and horror. But how? Black Alice was destroyed by the legendary hero Heinrich. Yes, it's regrettable, but I was struck down 500 years ago. But just before I was about to fall into the world of the dead, Goddess Ilias saved me. Ilias did? Why would she help a monster that she hates so much? <laughs> Gossilius has her own circumstances. There are one or two things we can't tell you. Black Alice giggles as she hugs her stuffed bear. So you became her dog? A previous monster lord, now a slave to Ilias? <laughs> First a fox, now a dog. How horrible! I think rabbit is cuter. Former monster lord, known for her brutality, now working for Ilias? She has been collecting monsters who are hostile towards humans? That reminds me, I have a message from Ilias. Black Alice brushed her skirt and then changes her tone to mimic Ilias. Oh, brave Luca. I have been troubled since you have fallen into darkness. Why has a hum hero of humans become a traitor and join the rank of monsters? 
Why have humans who I have loved and guided continued their mixing with monsters? I have come to a conclusion. Humans that do not listen to the voice of their goddess are not needed any longer. I shall cleanse the world of humans and create the world anew. Create the world anew? Cleanse the world of humans? No way! Yes, bringing the current realm of humans to extinction. It is the goddess's will. Don't screw around! Destroying humanity? <laughs> It'll be such a lovely party. And I'm in the role of hostess. I have plenty of fun ideas. I will, I'll liven up the last few days humanity has. The arrangements have already been made, too. <laughs> Who would ever allow that? Branching her fist, Alice charges at Black Alice. But her attack completely misses, causing Alice to crash to the floor. Gah. Well then, have a nice day. I do so look forward to our next meeting. Black House holds the stuffed bear's right hand and uses it to wave goodbye to us. In the next moment, she vanishes from the spot. Destroying the human race? I heard to myself as the ominous pressure fades along with Black Alice. Elias is willing to go that far in her reckless violence? The tyranny of that goddess is finally clear. Seems her hatred is no longer limited to monsters. Alice picks her small self up from the floor. Glad you're unharmed, Alice. What's with your appearance? Did you turn into that because of the seal? No, in order to slip away from the seal, I did it to myself. This is a temporary vessel, not my real body. My real body is still trapped in subspace. Er, I'm not quite sure what all that means. I'll explain the minor details later. Look around, for now, look around you. Doesn't this place seem to be some sort of major laboratory? Y yeah? Well, I'd be clue as how to break uh, free of that seal somewhere around here. Alice and I start searching the room. I quickly realize that my searching is meaningless. I look at the strange machines and I have no idea what they're for. The books are completely unintelligible to me too. Isn't there something like a research diary? there is, we might be able to find out something about the seal. The shelf has a bunch of strange silver discs on it. There's a stack of palm-sized glittering silver discs on a shelf. The shelf above it is crammed full of hundreds or more of the discs. Ah, oh, promise son, you haven't switched to USB. For shame. You can hold a lot more data in a lot smaller space. <laughs> Ah, the shelf t is full of them too. I wonder what they're all for. All these boxes here have discs too. There seem to be thousands of them in this room. Alice picks up a disc, takes a long, hard look at it. Ah, I got it! I saw something, saw something similar to this in Ilias Village! Did you figure something out? Yeah, you can put these around your farm to ward off the birds! scared of bright, shiny objects so they would stay away. I wonder if Promise Time was researching how to repel cropping birds. You are a complete and total idiot. Mm. Before I can retort back, Alice licks the disc. It's making my tongue tingle. May 10th, day 21, no problem with the cell culture, A10235. X2 Dinan body separated, kept at wound temperature. What are you talking about, Alice? I don't quite understand, but this disc is like a meal for reading, recording information. 
Seems like data can be written on the shiny side. And Prophesied, you didn't encrypt your data. For shame. You got lazy thinking no one else could read it. But you failed to account for the world's most powerful gluttony skills. Data extraction via licking. <laughs> Record? Like a research diary? And is there something about the seal in there? Also, is there anything about the spirits being sealed? They certainly seem worth investigating, but they're just so far too many. Oh, sighs and crosses her arms in annoyance. Hey! Monster Lord! Hmm? A loud voice echoes through the room. Did Tamamo manage to find the lab too? From above? Alice raises her eyes to the ceiling. Rather than inside the lab, she's on the ground above it. Luca, stay completely still if you don't want to die. Eh? Ah! One step in front of me. The ceiling itself crashes down. A huge hole appears in the ceiling. And peering through it... Oh, Luca's there too? What's with the sciency room? The rope drops down from the hole, with Tamao quickly sighing down on it. As soon as she lands, she lo restlessly looks around the room. There seems to be a large quantity of silver discs used to record information. Are you familiar with these, Tamamo? Hmm. Tamamo picks up a disc and sticks it in her mouth. Her tail starts to shake from side to side. And she starts making some weird clicking noises, <laughs> as if flicking her tongue rapidly across the disc. I'm not really concerned, but I wonder why she put the whole thing in her mouth. Mm hmm. There's a lot of information recorded here. And it's all encrypted with some sort of code. Oh, so you did encrypt it. Okay, I take it back, Palestine. Deciphering all this will... Uh, I have a more important report. I've heard reports that towns and villages across the world are being attacked by chimeric beasts and angels. Wh what Like Alice said that Ilios was going to wipe out humanity. But she's already starting? Destruction is happening all over the world. The first place that pops into my mind is my hometown. And this village. It's my hometown, alright? Bay who raised me after my, my after my mother died. My friends, my neighbors, the mayor, the priest at the shrine. All them are important people that are dear to my heart. As you know, Ilias Village is very close to the shrine. As you know, Ilias Village is very close to a shrine to Ilias. The angels are descending from the temple, so whether they choose it as an early target or not... Kamal tries being evasive and answering my question. <laughs> no. The villagers in Ilias' uh, village live modestly, following Ilias' teachings. How could she even slaughter them? I'll never forgive her! I jump at the rope that Tamamo slid down and start climbing toward the hole. Hey, wait! Stop, I said! This is what I have to say! Pay no attention to Tamamo. I climb into onto the ground and look to the sky. Gala, come! Ah! Gala appears, laying with a powerful flap of her wings. I jump on her back, eager to head towards Ilias' village. Don't go alone, you idiot! I'm going too. Miles climbs out of the hole and quickly jumps on Gala's back. As soon as she grabs hold, Gala takes off. Head to Adelius Village! As fast as you can! Ah! A large, powerful, flaps of her wings. Gala takes off through the sky with Alice and I on her back. I hold on, wishing to myself that we can arrive before Ilias' evil hands do. <clears throat> this place... 
The Drain Lab, Master Promestine. Black Alice transferred you here. Vitals are normal. While you were asleep, the damage you sustained in battle has been healed. Oh, so promised I can also heal while sleeping, huh? The Crocs. And even Laplace. Put some underwear on, damn it, Lucia. You have a lot of wounds. Is he that strong? That hero, Luca. Lucia. I see. All three have been gathered. Three members of Promestine's inner circle are gathered together. Everything is within the planned range, but the results weren't as good as expected. Despite being in a weak body, the monster lord managed to evade the seal. Although the hero was greatly weakened, he is not completely powerless. To make matters even worse, Black Alice is already aware of White Rabbit. So we can't monopolize it. The one most in sync with White Rabbit will most definitely be Black Alice. She's from the Monster Lord's bloodline, a direct tie to the dark existence of the Dark God. We have left her unattended until now with her knowledge of White Rabbit. She watched and waited with her incomplete knowledge as we researched. Then, when the time was right, she came and took it. In addition, she's firmly in the palm of Ilias's hand. Ronstein shrugs and looks around at her gather subordinates. Lacrox, Laplace, Lucia, including me, we are, the, we are four from different races. Angel, monster, human, and machine. What is it that we all have in common? It goes without saying. I simply wish to master all the dark arts and arrive at the truth. My existence is to silently execute. To master the secrets of alchemy and learn the truth of the world. That's right. We are the seekers of truth. Overcoming any obstacle and making any fellow truth seeker our allies. Anyone who would put a lid on the exploration of deeper knowledge, even a god themselves, they shall face our fangs. After declaring that, the angel in white stares at Lacrox. Lacrox, don't let anyone near the device, neither the hero nor the monster lord. Or anyone else, of course. Leave it to me. I have already dispatched members of the Cirque de Croix. I will accomplish my duty and fulfill my obligations. Good. Laplace, deal with the prisoners of war. Acquire and store as much energy as you can for what's to come. Acknowledged. And I'll head back to my home village as a messenger of slaughter and destruction. There's no need to get for you to go personally, but I do not mind. Do as you like. It's important for me to oversee it. Well then, I shall take my leave. With that parting word, Lucia is the first to depart. I cannot fathom why she cares about that village. What reason does she have to concern herself with a deserted village in the middle of nowhere? The Crocs threw away her hometown long ago. Laplace, I created you from scratch so you never had one to begin with. Lucia, he's going to completely destroy it. It's a ritual for herself, so to speak. I cannot understand it. Human thoughts are too irrational. <laughs> That's why I like human beings. Now then, I suppose I also shall need to carry out my duty. Very well then, I shall also take my leave. One after another, the investigators of troop depart. 
Yep, there's Cupid, already unsealed. She's so cute, I love her. This feels so suspicious. Information for Master Eden. Promise time. An angel who studies biology and technology that serves Ilias. Though she is an angel of the nice circle, she was given a special mission by Ilias. Her original body was that of a normal angel, but she has since transplanted an ancient seaweed that she spent generations researching. She seems to have a fairly high prowess for combat. The original reason she had for going against the goddess's will and studying science is not known. It is only known that she was imprisoned as a criminal angel before Ilias gave her an important mission. A very strange existence among the angels. Her fellow angels refer to her as a heret heretic sometimes. Promise sign forced Luca to finish using her monster seaweed. Preyed on by the ancient monster seaweed, Luca was turned into mere nutrients. Any search like that is complete heresy. There's some use for it, but... Excuse me, you don't need to hear about that. I, the pure Ilias, shall guide you. During this fight, you should regain your serene state of mind. Once you do, make sure to never lose it. With that, you'll be able to avoid most attacks. But if they hit, they are painful, so always keep an eye on your health. In addition, after she summons the spirit, Wind Spirit, she will use a powerful attack. Make sure to guard if you wish to survive it. Since your opponent has a large amount of health, expect a long fight. Keep an eye on your SP and make sure you always have enough to recover and keep your serene state. Now go, O oh brave Luca. Don't hesitate to beat that great sinner to a pope. <laughs> 